Doylestown is, is a very lucky community in that it has these three amazing facilities. Font Hill Castle, the Moravian Pottery and Tile Works, and the, and the Mercer Museum. And all three of these buildings together make up the Mercer Mile. And if you visit all three of the buildings, you really do get a sense of who Henry Mercer was, what his interests were, and how he decided he was going to save and share his interests. Henry Mercer was born in 1856. He died in 1930. So, you know, I, I kind of like to think about Henry Mercer. Um, I guess if you had a one word description of him, I would think about him as a Renaissance man. He had this insatiable thirst and uh, quest for knowledge, uh, discovery, exploration. His uh, Mercer Museum, which is uh, his early Americana treasure house, uh, is actually the third of the Mercer buildings that he did in Doylestown. He started off building a uh, a castle-like structure on the other side of the town called Font Hill, a 44-room mansion that was a combination of Rhine Castle and French uh, Chateau. Um, extraordinary thing. And then he added to it a factory building, but not your ordinary factory. A factory that sort of looked like Spanish mission architecture from the early days of Spain and, and uh, the monasteries and all, all through there. He did so because his vocation, his work, was as a tile maker. Interesting thing to think about Henry Mercer is that if he had done nothing else in his life, he was indeed America's foremost tile maker during the arts and crafts period. His tiles, which he produced from the Moravian Pottery and Tile Works, were sold internationally. It is the legacy of Henry Chapman Mercer that we are preserving by our Working History Museum operation. And it is that legacy that you can take home with a tile and enjoy it and understand what went into making that tile. You know, the lost art, handcrafted techniques that are now very rare to find and very seldomly appreciated. These three unique structures that tell one story once they're all put together, once you visit all three, you get this amazing sense of who Henry Mercer was, what his interests were, and how he viewed the world and how he intended to share uh, the past with us to help us learn from it. His legacy that he has left here in Bucks County is remarkable because like Henry Mercer, who explored and discovered, his legacy allows generations today and beyond to explore and discover.